Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, May the 3rd. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Today, the 21st anniversary of one of the largest tornado outbreaks in the history of the state of Oklahoma, the Oklahoma City metro area. Uh, experienced its first F5 tornado. Uh, I think the death toll that day across Oklahoma was 38. Uh, a very devastating day. We talked about it this week on Weather Brains. If you get a chance, go back and watch that show. It was outstanding. Dan Threlkeld, uh, Gary England. Um, it was just an outstanding show uh, this past week uh, there uh, talking about that outbreak. Uh, as, of course, we're going into the heart of tornado season in the Plains. Looking back, uh, April across uh, much of the country, cooler than normal. These are uh, This is the departure from average uh, uh, across the uh, country in terms of temperature here across much of Alabama. Uh, we've been cooler than normal, the exception the southeastern part of the state into the Florida panhandle. You can see across central Alabama, uh, copious amounts of rain uh, through the month of April. Uh, you can see a large part of the state getting more than 10 inches of rain there across central Alabama, back to the western part of the state there, uh, parts of Pickens, Tuscaloosa, southern Lamar, and Fayette into Walker, uh, even southern Coleman, uh, western uh, Blount County, parts of northeastern Jefferson County, but almost everybody, uh, 5 to 8 inches of rain. So not hurting for rainfall right now. There will be a little bit of rain uh, coming uh, over the next few days, that's for sure. Uh, some things have changed over the last few days, though. Drier air uh, shifting into the um, into the Gulf of Mexico, uh, giving some really nice weather. This is uh, thanks to our friend uh, Satellite Sheldon, Sheldon Cusselson, uh, his uh, blended TPW product, showing the uh, movement of that drier air uh, through Alabama in the south and into the Gulf of Mexico. That will be changing a bit over the next few days. Here's the upper pattern across the country this morning. A fairly broad, flat pattern, not uh, much to uh, hang your hat on. A little trough building into the western United States. A little, uh, maybe a little bit of a upper-level disturbance there sliding through Alabama. No impact on our weather. This is how it'll change, though, by the end of the week. And uh, long-time viewers of the video knows that's a cool look for the eastern United States. Here's the surface this morning, high pressure, uh, centered across the northern Gulf of Mexico, uh, ridging into the western Atlantic and uh, stubbornly hanging on here in Alabama, snaky front to our north, extending from uh, low pressure there over the Great Lakes states uh, back to southern Missouri into northwestern Texas, and that will be the focus for precipitation over the next uh, three days across uh, across the Ohio Valley, the mid-Mississippi Valley, into the south. Uh, today will be basically a, a, a sunny to partly cloudy day, warm again, much like yesterday, temperatures in the middle 80s, We'll be uh, back into the upper 50s, lower 60s tonight. Now, we'll be watching a front to our north, that front that we talked about there. It'll sort of sink into southern Tennessee with some thunderstorms this afternoon. I wouldn't be surprised if one or two of those get into northeast Alabama late tonight. Uh, it could fizzle completely before it gets here. But uh, don't be surprised if one or two of those show up uh, after 9 p.m. tonight in northeastern Alabama. Now, that front will be the focus potentially for more showers and storms to develop tomorrow. But all the ingredients are just not really there. We'll have the instability. There's no question about that. We'll have decent mid-level lapse rates. That means that the temperatures will be decreasing uh, rapidly with uh, height, especially in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. That's good for the development of thunderstorms. But all the other factors are going to be fairly weak. So all in all, the coverage of thunderstorms on Monday afternoon will be mm, you know, fairly limited. If any do develop, they could be strong, maybe even severe. Uh, damaging winds will be the main threat. We'll be watching that closely. Now, this front gets a little more impetus by Tuesday. Uh, that upper-level trough begins to sharpen over the Midwest, as it does. Spins up low pressure uh, over Arkansas. That, uh, that low will spin across uh, Tennessee. And as it does, it'll push that cold front on into Alabama. This is Tuesday evening, 7 p.m. SPC looking at some severe weather back to our west, Arkansas. Uh, back into southern Missouri. I think um, we probably get out of this without much severe weather, but we can't rule it out Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening as that front rolls in. Again, decent instability, uh, a fair amount of shear, 30 knots of bulk shear, but all the other factors not really there 
for a major significant severe weather outlook, uh, outbreak. But we'll be watching it, of course. Uh, and, you know, we're getting, uh, you know, we're getting out of April in our main severe weather season, but we can still get some strong storms certainly in May. Now, by Wednesday, that front is to the south. Uh, if it's in this position by uh, Wednesday afternoon. Uh, you know, we'll be clearing out here in central Alabama, turning cooler, northwesterly wind, temperatures in the 70s, uh, into the lower 50s Wednesday night, nice day on Thursday, high pressure in control, uh, temperatures in the lower and middle 70s, be an absolutely beautiful day, low humidities and a light northwesterly breeze. Now, Friday, this is 4 o'clock, uh, GFS pretty quick bringing another system in here in that northwesterly flow, and that's uh, fairly notorious for uh, May here in Alabama, we have to watch for that rain and storms come back into the forecast late Friday afternoon, Friday night, continue into Saturday. Uh, by Saturday noon, the system is on out of here, and we see clearing and cooler conditions again. High temperatures on Saturday. Might have a hard time getting out of the 60s. Uh, we'll call for 72. Some spots, though, definitely stay in the 60s. And uh, we'll go out into voodoo land here Sunday, May the 16th. Looks like another wet weather system. Uh, although we'll be um, cooler next week, we'll be back into the 80s uh, as we head toward the middle of that following week. Here, rainfall amounts off the GFS. You can see anywhere from 1 to 3 inches expected over the next two weeks across Alabama. We'll take it as we head into the long, hot days of summer. These are temperatures. You'll see those 80s uh, through midweek, uh, followed by a period of 70s uh, for another week, and then we'll be back into the lower 80s uh, for that um, for that f extended period after that. Deke Arndt joins us tomorrow night. He'll be talking climate from uh, NCI. Weather Brains is the weekly netcast. It's all about weather. We do it every Monday night. You can pick it up wherever you get your favorite, uh, you know, where, the, where you know, your favorite podcast channel is found, or you can watch us live on the Dot Two channel or at live.bigbrainsmedia.com. Well, until next Sunday when I'll be back with the forecast, we'll have notes on the blog. James will be back with two a day. Scott will be here next Saturday. And until I see you again, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.